What's up guys, welcome back to another video. As you see, we got another little pup here now. Um, more about him in a second. I'm gonna make this quick because this video that you guys are about to see was recorded like six months ago, like before winter, and obviously now winter is pretty much over, but we did all of the all of the brake lines, new stainless steel lines in the Bronco. Um, I'm putting this little video in the beginning here because I wasn't even gonna post this video, but I already have it all recorded. But I was pretty frustrated after I actually got all the brake lines in that, like, I just didn't feel like posting the video. But now I'm going to post it six months later. Um, <laughs> as you can see, some of these are not exactly how they should be. You're going to see in the video, if you skip to the 8-minute mark and you skip to, like, the 14-minute mark, you'll you'll see why. They labeled the instructions wrong. Um, at least I'm going to blame it on that <laughs> instead of blaming it on myself. They labeled the instructions wrong. Um, there's multiple pieces. There's three pieces. Okay, you got one, and then there's a, a middle section and a back section that goes to your to your to your rear brake. So you have one piece, two piece, three piece. They they labeled it in a weird way, which made me put them in the wrong order. So pay attention to that if you are going to use this kit that I that I used, made by Inline Tube. Um, that's really all I gotta say about that. Pay attention to that. Don't do what I did. Pay attention to your fittings. Certain fittings will fit in certain places that doesn't mean that they're actually designed to go in certain places because i believe i had one fitting at, the, at some point in the video i had a fitting plugged into the uh abs module here that was not designed to be plugged into that while when i was trying to figure out all of that stuff so yeah pay attention to that this here you'll be seeing more of him his name is bandito so he is this is buddy obviously you guys know him. He is Australian Shepherd. His mother was Golden Retriever and Great Pyrenees, which is where he gets like his curly tail and everything. And um, his father was 100% Australian Shepherd. So, Bandito. Hey, come here. Come here. Hello. Hello, Bandito. Hello. Hello. Anyway, that's it for that. Um, enjoy the video. And yeah, pay attention to the things I mentioned before because you don't really want to fuck those up. What is up guys, welcome back to another video on the Bronco build. So what I'm going to try to do today, I got all new brake lines for the Bronco. And this is made by Inline Tube. It's a, uh, you know, pre-bent stainless steel lines, stuff like that. So this is all the brake lines that we need for the whole truck. So kind of what I need to do is figure out where all of them go because they didn't... They give you like this paper with it that kind of like shows you all the pieces, but they don't tell you where they go. Like none of these are, are labeled. I've seen other kits where, you know, they'll have a little tag on them and they'll be like, oh, this goes to this brake and this goes to the other brake and whatever else. These are completely not labeled at all. Um, and the issue with them not being labeled is that, as you guys can see, well, all of my, uh, all of my orig original lines are either missing or rotted to the point that like you know half of them are missing and stuff like that so it's kind of a guessing game and i think what i'm gonna have to do is find the obvious ones like the one that goes over the rear axle you know that one they're all pre-bent you know so you can kind of match them up with the old ones which is what you're supposed to do but then it's kind of going to be somewhat of a uh, trial and error i guess to figure out the rest of them um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay all these out. I'll see if I can find that paper as well that they that they send us. This isn't it. This is actually from when I was doing the, you know, part of my template for those zero ones right there. Is this the paper? Yeah, okay. So this is what they give you, right? It tells you, let's see, front to rear, obviously that's labeled, front crossover, Rear axle, that one's obvious. Um, it says front brake, front brake, front brake, but they're not. You know, it doesn't tell you which side they go on. So, and you can also see some of them for are for different years. So this is from '95 to '96. So I don't need that one because this is a '93. Um, so some of these we're not going to use. Like I think maybe this is probably the only one we're not going to use. Um, and this truck also has, so this is, the other weird thing about this truck, this truck has four-wheel ABS, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
I'm, I'm pretty sure that this truck has four wheel ABS and not just rear ABS. This truck only has a rear ABS and you know, it would be easy for me, to, you know, cause I have two of these, obviously if they had the same setup in them, um, you know, if they both had rear ABS or whatever, they'd be the exact same line. So I could just use, you know, those lines and kind of figure that out. But this truck has a different ABS module. I believe this truck has four wheel ABS. Um, because, well, oh yeah, I know that it has four wheel ABS because it has the ABS ring when I was doing the brakes, you know, you gotta, there's the ring that goes around the, uh, the hub and whatnot, and you gotta knock that off and put it back on. So I know this truck has four wheel ABS, but this is for, let's see, 93 to 94 without OBS or without ABS. And this is 95 to 96 with ABS, but they don't have, you know, it's not labeled 93 for a 93 that has four wheel ABS. So it's, it's really kind of, uh, you know, there's no backside. So it's kind of a guessing game because of the whole ABS situation. So we're going to try to figure this out. Hopefully, I mean, this is the only kit they make for these trucks. So I'd assume it's the correct kit, but you know, you never really know. So they also give you this paper kind of like explains how to do it. But it's also not truck specific. So, like you can see, like it tells you, these were the actually the transmission lines that we put in this truck that we already did were from the same company. Um, so it shows like the bend lines and everything. These don't have bend lines in them. So honestly, this is kind of useless to me. But it'd be really nice if they had really good truck specific um, instructions, but they do not. I wonder what this is for something little things like this is going to be a pain in the ass to try to figure out where it goes obviously let's see is this the nope where's the one for the rear axle that's going to be that's going to be this guy right here because <clears throat> you can see it's got the big bump in it for the uh differential there so actually let's let's take this and match this one up here It's just going to be a bunch of trial and error. So you can see that one lines up with that. Then it's going to go into that. Oh, you know what? This might not be... It's not going to be super hard to figure out the back ones, obviously, because there's less pieces. So... <clears throat> and honestly, I was going to say some of these might not even need to be replaced in the rear. I really needed them for the front. Oh, yeah. No, they, they need to be replaced. <laughs> that just came off super... Yeah, they're, 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 they're junk. So, anyway... That one's going to go there. I suppose that little piece that I was just looking at before is going to go here. I'm going to try to figure out most of them, where they go, and then I'll, I'll, I'll get back with you. So while I'm just going through figuring this out, obviously I showed you guys these ones. You've obviously got your big one there. This little guy over here. Uh, so this one here is labeled front to rear, and you can see it says two of two this one is one of two so they're gonna go together this is the back side um and this is the front and the front uh, what i assume is it's probably gonna go right right there right above the uh right where that little joint is there and then it goes into where this brake hose is it's gonna end up screwing it up top there you can see someone tried to do these lines before um and there's a bunch of wires and everything freaking laying around down here um someone had it looks like someone tried to do these or at least tried to replace the back ones but then like stopped and like didn't do it so yeah <laughs> some of them aren't exactly easy to label or easy to identify because someone already started taking this apart so I've spent the last little while here trying to figure out, you know, where all of them go. So I figured out where all of them go except for like one or two. But there's a couple things here that I just figured out that if you're if you're like me and all your stuff's rotted, falling apart and whatever, that you're going to want to pay attention to this part. So you can see I have this one here and I've traced this hose. You can hear it rattling down there. This is for, and I looked up a diagram for this because I was wondering, like, 
which goes to the front, which goes to the rear, which goes to the right and the left and whatever. So this one here, this first hole is for your rear brakes, right? So I believe, so this is the front side of the rear brakes, which is kind of weird because this hose uh, could be bent improperly. You can see it, uh, it's not bent the same way. It's bent down instead of up. Um, and there's no, if I can get that out of there. Um, you can't, you know, flip it around or nothing to make it, to make it go the right way. So that's, that's one thing that's a little weird. This has to go here, but it's bent the wrong way. Um, so and then that will connect to your other part of your rear. And I don't know if that's going to be long enough. We'll see. It's pretty long, but I don't know if that's going to make it all the way to where it needs to go well back there. So that was the first thing I was trying to figure out more on that later. But anyway, this is your rear. This is your front left brake. All right. So this, this is going to be one of these hoses here, which I've yet to figure out which one it is. It could possibly be this one. Probably is. I don't know exactly for sure yet, but it's going to plug into here. Whenever I, I think it's this one. Whenever I figure out which one that is, it's going to plug into your brake hose here from around the back and down and plug into here. So a little quick note about this. So this is the new brake hose from Rough Country. And since I have a 96 here that actually uses that, you can see that this same brake hose has this little outlet here. Now this goes over to the passenger side on this truck. All right, so you can see it goes up, goes through, and it's, really, it's loose right now, but it goes over to the passenger side. So that's not how it works on the Bronco. And this is, you can see, this is the rear ABS module for the uh, trucks that only have rear ABS. The Bronco does not have one of these, um, which you can see, it just has this one that goes all the way to the rear and runs all the way to the back back there. Um, so yeah, this is, this is rear ABS only. If you have one of these on, you, you shouldn't on an, on a 93 Bronco, they all went to four wheel ABS. As far as I, I know that's what my, uh, my Haynes manual says. Cause I was doing some reading in that as well. But anyway, that's just a quick note about that. A uh, little, little piece there. So we're not actually going to end up using this guy here. We're going to have to plug this off. Because this is not used for uh, for this year truck. Um, so this is your rear. This is your front. And this is going to be your right side. Which is here. You can see this um, used to be connected there. So this goes, you can see that wiggling right there. Uh, that goes to uh, this guy here. That goes over, and so you can see on the old one. Ow! If I can stop slamming into stuff. On the old one, there's one of those fittings here that connects to an actual another smaller piece. On this kit, it just goes straight up to your other brake hose on this side here. So this little fitting and this extra piece, um, they kind of simplified it in this kit, so you don't have that. Uh, and you can see here on this Bronco. We do not have the rear ABS big module thingy here. And this is our hose that's going to go up to that front port. Oh, oh, look, a 20 millimeter socket or whatever that is. And that that is going to go to our front port here. It would be really easy to do this if I took the fender liner out, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff attached to that, so <laughs> I don't really feel like doing that. But, so that's where those go, okay? Your front, or your rear is in the front, which is kind of confusing, right? Rear is in the front, then front is in the next position. Your left brakes are in the all the way rear position. Right here, rear, rear, front, left. And now these, this guy, kind of hooks in right there to your master cylinder and it goes down into this guy here this one looks like this 
goes right here. All right, so this is gonna go down into this little junction right here. It's gonna go down there, and then it's gonna plug in right here to this left one. All right, so it's gonna go into there on the other side of the steering column thing there. And so that's those two. And this one here goes, oh, it's backwards. You can see it's the coiled wire down there, right there. This is gonna go, you know, somewhere, something in there, kind of like that, and plug into here and then go to that. And that coiled wire, the other end of it goes back into this junction right here. So not a lot of space to work. Took a while to figure out where they all go. If they were labeled, you know, they, they could have labeled this master to junction on the frame. They, you know, but they, they didn't, didn't really bother labeling anything for me. So yeah, there's that. Those I already showed you where these go. And this one here, what the hell was this for? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. These th <laughs> haven't figured this out yet completely. That's for your rear. That's for your rear. Those are your ones for your front. And this guy here, we do not use. This is the one that is this one, MC for 95 to 96. That is this guy. That is one that we're not using. So just doing a little more tinkering with this. Uh, the front half of the rear line. All right, so I'm, I'm installing it instead of from the bottom where it was before, I'm installing it from the top, okay? I think this is how this kit is expecting us to do it. So you can see there's our, uh, you know, the front of the line there where it plugs into this ABS control thing. We're going to run it down, and you can see it right here. Uh, down there, so... Yo. Oh. All right, let's grab the other half of this. All right, here, hopefully this is long enough. I, I honestly have my doubts if this is... <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like I'm missing, like, a tube. I feel like I'm missing a tube of some sort. So here's our rear one. All right. Maybe I'm not missing one. This is where it's going to come out, all right? And you're, you're gonna have another one too that plugs into this. Your one that goes around here to your passenger side. Another one plugs in here to go to the, uh, you know, whatever the fuck. All right. Let's see if this is gonna be long enough. It's gonna be right about there. Our new pipe. Yeah, see it ends like right here. It ends right here. And we still have another like three feet we need to go to get into there. It's about fitting there. Don't even know if it's still there. Looks like it's uh oh yeah it's kind of the line broke off oh line broke off here so we're gonna worry about the rear later um you saw i just got that one that goes in it wasn't long enough i don't know why we'll figure it out in a little bit but anyway i just plugged in this guy here the one that goes underneath over up to your new brake line so that's plugged in now it ends right there all right so then you're gonna have this one here uh, and remember this is your going to your passenger side so this is going to plug in to this back one here all right so this is eventually going to be all back there nice and neat and plugged in right here into this rear one but first we need to figure out how to get it back there so i'm gonna work on that now and get this down where it needs to be over here 
would be really easy if I took the fender liner out, but <laughs> I'm not doing that. So here's just your view from the back side. Remember, we're working on front right right now. You got that uh, little joint thing here, whatever the hell it's called, the connector for the two. Um, run running up, or right here, running up. I ended up installing that one from the top as well. Just pushed it down, pushed it underneath the uh, fender well. Right here. I just brought it in from the top. Don't pay no attention to this one here. That's for the back. You can see it comes up, goes under, up under the fender well. And then I'm gonna have to bend it a tiny little bit to get it into there, but not too much. So it's not too bad. So I've just been doing a little more, you know, routing things around. So I got these all in, screwed in. Um, I cut, I've removed some of them, the old ones. I still need, like, these. I might not even replace these, honestly, because they're not all that bad. I think I might just replace that squiggly one that goes right here because it's, uh, well, clearly leaking. Um, the other ones don't really need to be replaced so because they're kind of up higher you know out of all the the uh you know the rust and everything like that like down here they're fine there's, there's really nothing wrong with those so i might just do that one um but in the rough country kit one thing that i just noticed while i'm putting this together because i you know went and ran this one through the frame pop it out here the rough country kit actually comes with a little little plug here uh, for your new extended brake lines. So that's just going to screw right into there. And that's how we'll plug that off. So it's a good thing that they included that. That was very nice of them. Also, it's a good thing I haven't put my front drive shaft back in because <laughs> getting under there and routing everything through would be a real pain in the ass if I was trying to, uh, you know, battle the drive shaft the whole time. So everything all in the front is all set except for the, uh, well, obviously I need to do this, but uh, brake line wise, Everything up front's all set, and what I'm gonna do now is say hello to the duckies. Anyway, uh, so remember the back? I was saying the back was not long enough. Now somebody had put this piece of line in there before. I think they were trying to, you know, fix the brakes. I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of penetrating blast and try to clean it up a little bit, but. Basically, the line comes to about, uh, you can see it's right here, and it basically ends like right here. So I still need to go another couple of feet. So I think what I'm going to try to do, that already has a male and a female end on it. So this, in theory, should hook up to that tube or brake line, whatever. And then this should go into, unless it's the other way around, unless this is a, oh, let's check and see what we're working with up here. So this guy, right here, see if I can turn the flash on. Oh, there's sirens out there. Huh, someone's getting pulled over. All right, so what are we working with here? We have... What appears to be just a regular uh, male into female situation here. So, that should work if I just take this out right here and put the new one in. And then we've obviously got to hook up all the ones in the back, but it's only, it's only two, so that'll be pretty quick. Yeah, so that's not going to work. This is... Uh, these do not screw together because this sticks out too far. I might, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a good idea to trim that to make it so it doesn't stick out so far. If it didn't stick out so far, then that could 
thread in, but I don't want to trim it too much and have it not work on there. Hmm. Not sure what I, what I want to do with that. All right, so this was the piece that was, you know, that someone tried to use to fix these brakes at one point. And this fitting on the end here, yeah, there's, it was, it was connected to another piece somewhere. Don't know where it went, but this is, this would be the fitting that I'd need. That is like, I don't like that. That's, that's, that's sketchy. So I'm not going to do that. So what I'm actually going to do, so this brake line here, all right. If I match it up to the, 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 you know, parts list here, this I believe would end up being this guy here, front brake number two of three. No, that's not it. That's not it. Which one is this? Front brake three of three, maybe? It doesn't really look like any of the pictures. It's definitely not that one. It's definitely not that one. Is it that one? Front crossover? No, see, they, it doesn't look like any of the ones on this list. So I don't know what this what this even is. I didn't need it for anything. Like I already I already put them all back where they you know where the where they're supposed to be, and I don't know what this is for. This is the one that I know I don't need because it's not for the right year truck. But I don't know what this one's for. So anyway, I'm just gonna use it as my piece to go back to uh, from the end of there to where I need to get to over here. I don't know what it's for. That's what I'm gonna use it for though. If I end up you know screwing something up, I can just go get another piece of line. But I honestly don't don't think I need that part. It's weird, you know. It's kind of like. You know, you build a Lego set and you got some Legos left over. Usually it means you did it wrong, but there's a little plant in there. We'll see. We will see. So, next day now, I'd like to point something out here that the uh, directions failed. They're not really directions, but the labeling, okay? Say you, say you have front brake, two of three. Front brake, one of three. And then you have front brake three of three. All right. This one here. Okay. So I ended up getting it like together. All right. And I did. So you got front to rear and front to rear one and two. So you'd think by doing that, that you'd have two lines that go from front to rear. So you put the first one and the second one. But I was, like I was saying, it wasn't long enough. So I ended up going and buying another, you know, two feet of line or whatever to finish it yesterday. And then I'm thinking, I'm looking, and I'm like, there's no reason why I should have an extra piece, right? They mislabeled it, all right? It's actually this one, front brake one of three, I believe is this one. I mean, it has some extra bends in it. It's not exactly the same. But this is the piece that has the bend right here that goes right there into that one so this is your first one that goes in there your second one is going to be front to rear one of two and then your third one that's going to go all the way to the back is front to rear two of two this has nothing to do with a front brake it shouldn't be labeled front brake i don't know why they labeled it front brake but it's it's incorrect so anyway i'm gonna go put it together properly now and shift my pieces back what a pain in the ass. If they had just freaking labeled this front or front to rear two of two, front to rear three of three, or yeah, two of three and three of three, and had this front brake one of three, or front to rear one of three, it would have. It, see how confusing this bullshit is? Alright, so it's been a couple days. Um, I ended up doing every single one of them. I know I said I was going to do, you know, I was going to not do a couple of these because they looked okay, but I ended up just doing them all. Um, figured, you know, I might as well. Might as well just do them, I have them. Uh, it was kind of a pain in the ass. Just a little tip or a trick, I suppose. So, see this guy right here? Uh, this one? It's really way down there, okay? And, obviously, it was really, really rusted to the point that I couldn't get a socket on it no matter what size. Um, I couldn't get a wrench on it no matter what size. I broke the line, like, right here to try to get a socket onto it. And, you know, none of the sockets 
would fit it. So what I ended up doing, all right, so obviously in this area here, you don't really want to be taking your torch down there because you're going to end up melting stuff that you don't want to melt. So what I did is I took the socket, all right, and this is probably still even a little bit warm. You can see it's got a nice color to it now, but I heated the socket up on the, and this isn't the socket that I, you know, this socket didn't fit it, obviously, because none of them did, but I heated up a socket that was really close to it with the torch, all right, and got it real nice and red hot, and then brought this down there and used this to heat the bolt up, and then I ended up just using a vice grip, clamping onto it really tight, and breaking it loose. So that's, uh, I don't know, I guess a tip or a trick. If for, for really any bolt, really, it doesn't have to be for brake lines. If, if it's in a spot where you can't get your torch in, or you don't want to get your torch in, just heat up the socket itself. Um, it still does the same exact thing. So, anyway, that's pretty much going to do it for today. I mean, I still got to go ahead and bleed all the brakes and everything, but I kind of, you know, need someone to help me do that. So, um, yeah, all the brakes are, or all the brake lines are in, all the brakes are in. Um, the truck does run. I actually started it up the other day for, like, the first time in, like, a year. <laughs> and it was running good. It still has, you know, the engine issue. Um, the ticking, the lifter tick, but, uh, that'll get solved eventually. I just kind of, I'm just doing all the stuff, you know, brakes. I did the fuel pump, you know, all that, all that stuff. Um, just getting it to a point where, you know, everything else is going to be done and it'll be, you know, inspectable and everything. And then I'm going to fix the, the engine issue because I obviously eh, don't really, I don't know. It's kind of above my, my, uh, expertise levels, you know? <laughs> I can tinker around with stuff, but when it comes to, you know, tearing the mo motor apart and whatever else, I, I really don't want to mess that up. So who knows? I might end up trying it myself. I might end up trying to fix it myself, but the plan now is just to get everything, um, ready so that once that motor issue gets fixed, then the truck will just be ready to go. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's pretty much going to do it for today. Um, just to, you know, I think this is probably a pretty long video, um, but you know, I was going to say a quick video, but I guess it's really not too quick. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you out at all, maybe, you know, your truck was, you know, all rotted like mine and you didn't know where any of your lines went, um, make sure to leave a like if, if this video might have helped you or something like that. Maybe you just liked watching me struggle. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Also, I just cleaned the whole truck out, so all that mess, all that bullshit is all right there. <laughs> <laughs> yep i cleaned under the hood too vacuumed up all the mouse houses i was thinking about calling this this truck mouse trap calling it the mouse trap bronco you know put on the you know i don't know sounds like a good name for it since we got all these mouse traps